Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. Wow, do we have an exciting one for you today. That's what we do here at Magic Orthodoxy. We review the latest and the greatest. Got another one in that category today. This is Forecast from Craig Petty in the 1914. Now, if you don't know who Craig Petty is, where have you been? <laughs> where have you been? Uh, go check out his YouTube channel. Uh, if you're not aware yet, uh, professional magician works, works out there in the real world. Uh, creator, right? Creator of magic. Uh, also a reviewer like myself, uh, performs magic on YouTube. There's pretty much nothing his YouTube channel does not cover, right? It's, it's all encompassing. And uh, I think this is only the, I want to say third, the third Craig Petty trick I've been able to review. So pretty excited about that. This is forecast 1914. Okay. Um, what is it? What is forecast? Forecast is a introduction to the memorized deck. Now there's been a lot of other products like this out on the market that have tried to introduce memorized deck work. And usually it focuses on one or the other. It might focus on how to memorize a deck, or it might focus on tricks you can do with a memorized deck. Uh, what you get with Forecast is you get the best of both worlds. Craig is not only gonna teach you how to memorize a deck, uh, and we're talking about Mnemonica right now with Juan Tamari, even though there are other uh, stacks out there and he certainly does mention them and gives them, you know, gives them screen time. But primarily uh, this project, Forecast, uh, is working with Mnemonica. And so that's kind of the direction that he's taking this. So he's going to spend time teaching you how to memorize a deck and then giving you a huge pile of magic tricks you can do with a memorized deck. Oh, let's talk about it. All right, forecast, Craig Petty, 1914. You drop $30 at your favorite Murphy's Magic Dealer. What are you going to get? Uh, you do get a package, okay? You do get a package. It's not all uh, download, even though the majority of this is a download, okay? So it's 15 videos, okay? 15 different videos. And then a PDF. And the PDF is really like a crib sheet for some of the things that Craig talks about. Uh, you'll print it out once and then use that for creating some of your tricks, but it's just a notes uh, thing for yourself. And I would say, yes, you should, should download that immediately, print it out so that you have it when you start watching the videos. Um, but like I said, 15 videos, 15 videos, and then you're gonna get two cards, okay? Just two playing cards, that's it. Uh, one playing card is a crib for Mnemonica that we just talked about. And the second one is a blank crib if you have memorized a memorized deck uh, stack or plan to make up your own, uh, that, that way you can use the blank and you can fill in the crib. So you're going to get one crib for Demonica and one blank crib that you can fill out yourself. Is it what I thought? Yes, it is what I thought because the ad copy is very clear. This is one of those things where if you read the ad copy, you know exactly what you're getting. And I think that's only because uh, Craig Petty does reviews like I do. And so one of the things that we always talk about is does the ad copy tell you what you're getting or does it overhype or does it promise things that aren't included? Uh, I think Craig Petty totally understands that as a reviewer. And so he's made an ad copy that I think is very open and upfront about what you receive. Is it well made? Uh, it's mostly a download, okay? It is mostly a download. So the two playing cards that you get, they're bicycle quality. I mean, they're gonna fit right into your bicycle deck, sight unseen, but the majority of this is just videos. All right, so what's the overall quality and production value of the video? Uh, if you know the 1914, you know D. Christopher, uh, they, they have a reputation for making very good videos. And so everything's well shot. Uh, you got really nice, cool bumpers of music in between. Uh, you're going to get multiple angles and it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a great little training exercise. And I'm not going to go in depth on all 15 videos, okay? I'm just giving you an overview, an overarching summary of what you get. So in the first video, this is an intro. Craig Petty welcomes you to the project and he talks about where he's going with the project. The second video is called, What is a Memorized Deck? And this is a tutorial that basically talks about Mnemonica 
and explains uh, what a memorized deck is. The third video is called How to Memorize a Mem Deck. And he's gonna give you a system, and I'll just say right now, it's not a memory palace system, okay? He's gonna give you a system on how to memorize a deck of cards. The fourth video is uh, a lesson on some false cuts so that you can maintain the order, because if you have a memorized deck, obviously you don't wanna get it out of order. So he'll teach you some false cuts. The fifth video is your first trick, and it will require two decks, and it is a card at any number. The spectator selects two cards from a blue deck. One card determines the card's number, its value, and the other card uh, is where it'll be in the deck. And you take the second deck, you deal down to that number, and their card is there. Video number six is called Envelope of Mystery. The spectator is going to cut the deck and select the first five cards. And from those five cards, they're going to memorize one of the cards from that stack. The magician then takes those five cards and then quickly commits them to memory and then begins to reveal what those cards are from only having looked at it for a few seconds and then tells them which card was theirs. And then from a different deck, pulls those same five cards from an envelope that were on the table the entire time. Video number seven is called Number Mates. This is done with a deck of cards and a stack of billets. The stack of billets has random numbers written on them. The spectator is gonna select a card in their mind just call it out, and then they will select a card from the billets. And when they add the numbers on the billets together, they're able to count down in the deck and find their card. Video number eight is called Storm Force Burglass, and this also uses a stack of billets. This stack of billets contains 52 different ways to reveal a card. Now, before the trick begins, the magician writes down both the number and name of a card. The spectator selects any card they want, and then they select a card from the billet stack, and the billet stack tells them how to find their card in the deck, and they're right. In video number 10, this is called Snapshot, the spectator cuts the deck three times, and you, as the magician, reveal the bottom card of each stack. Video number 11 is called Visible Bonus, and it's a trick straight from the visible release that uh, Craig Petty put out originally with the 1914 as an invisible deck trick, and you will need an invisible deck as well as a memorized deck. Video number 12 is called Card College. This is where the spectator can cut the deck at any point and place the cut cards into the magician's hands, and they will know exactly how many cards are in their hands just by feeling the weight of it. Trick number 13 is called card box prediction. It's a one ahead style effect where you predict the mate of the card the spectator will select three times in a row. And all six of those cards end up going into the card box as they are selected. And of course, you are right every time. Video number 14 is called invisible memory. It's a classic invisible deck routine, but done with a memorized deck. Video 15 is called further reading. In this video, Craig talks about other resources you can use for memorized deck work. And video 15 is called Final Thoughts, and this is where Craig gives you his final thoughts. All right, so what's the slights and difficulty level of all of this? Well, because it's memorized deck work, um, it's not very difficult at all. In fact, right at the very beginning of the project, Craig explains to you that there are nine tricks. There's nine tricks taught, and they're each broken up into sections. Uh, so the first section, the first three videos, are completely self-working. Self-working meaning you don't need to use the crib, and you don't have to have the deck memorized. So completely self-working tricks. So you just set it up, and the trick will work itself. The next three tricks are tricks that are done with the crib. So again, you're using the memorized deck, but instead of having to commit it to memory, you're able to use the crib as part of the trick. So again, the next three tricks, you don't need to memorize the deck either. So that means of the nine tricks that are offered to you, six of them, you don't even have to memorize the deck. The last three tricks are done as full mem deck effects, where you will need to have the deck memorized by then. But of all the tricks, slights and difficulty level, I think, I think the hardest thing in the whole thing uh, is maybe a double. I think, there, I think a, a double is the hardest thing. Uh, you might be holding a break somewhere, but uh, yeah, it's very, very, very simple. Very simple. Positives. All right, so what are the positives? 
Forecast is a wonderful introduction to memorize deck work. Anyone who's been afraid of memorizing a deck of cards can easily follow Craig in this wonderful class. So before I get into negatives, I want to mention setup and reset because I think setup and reset goes along with my negatives. So oftentimes in my videos, I talk about things that you'll need in addition to the tricks you purchase because I'm trying to be totally upfront about you know, maybe what you might need. And so that falls into things that we call setup, right? Things that you're getting ready for in advance and reset, how fast the trick can be reset for the next performance. And I think that category falls into my negatives. Because the nine tricks that are offered are all blocked out in different sections, right? The first one I said, no mem deck is needed. Uh, memory, right? You don't need to memorize the deck. Uh, in the second group, you're using the crib. And the third group, those are full mem deck tricks. I would argue that really none of these tricks can be re routined together, okay? These are all separate standalone tricks. And each one of them, except for maybe the last three, really require advanced prep. So every single one of these needs advanced preparation. Now, in, of the first six, right, the first six tricks, most of them require additional decks or uh, writing on the backs of the decks, prepping them in advance, or creating the little billets and stacks and predictions. So these are all kind of isolated one-hit wonders. So if you were doing mem deck work, you would do some of these as things that you would do in between other mem deck tricks because of the fact that you're introducing a second deck or you're introducing a stack of billets or you're introducing a mem deck that has numbers on them. Uh, each one of those first six tricks really requires setup. And at one point, um, I think in one trick he says, that the setup takes about 30 minutes. There's another one where he says it takes almost an hour. So as far as my negatives go, um, there aren't a lot of tricks included in this project that are entirely just a mem deck trick with a deck of cards. Just a deck and nothing else. So having to, and I think, you know, if you were gonna have a deck in mem deck, you're probably gonna start that way, right? Because you're gonna bring it out and it's already in a memorized deck order, you do a couple cuts and you keep it in order and you do your trick. Um, but, but maybe after that, then you're shuffling the deck and going into some regular card tricks. And that's certainly a way you could go. But my argument is there isn't a lot in this project that you could do back to back to back to back. All right, so is it worth your money? Absolutely. It's 30 bucks, right? $30 and you're getting 15 videos, nine tricks, nine tricks. So easily, value-wise, you're getting a lot for your money, especially when you think about the fact that he's giving you a system, he's giving you different cuts, right? He's giving you more than just tricks. Who would like this? All right, so who is this project for? I'm gonna say this is mainly for someone who is just getting into memorized deck work, okay? So you don't do any mem deck work now, or you've attempted in the past to memorize uh, like the Aronson stack or Mnemonica, and you just kind of gave up, right? You learned it for a little while, and then you stopped doing it. I would say that one of the things that really separates uh, magicians from magicians is mem deck work, okay? And so certainly this is something that you want to get into if you want to go from here to here, right? If you want to improve. And I understand that it's a scary thing. It is a scary thing. And it is difficult. It's not easy. I'm not going to sugarcoat this and say, oh, it's easy to memorize a deck. I memorized Mnemonica, what, last year? And then forgot it. Forgot it because I stopped using it, right? And uh, it, you, you got to just keep doing it. You have to keep doing it. So currently, I'm learning Mnemonica again. And I'm, you know, using Craig's method. So I think that if you've never done it, or been frustrated by it, then this project is for you. I think if you already have a deck memorized and it works for you and you know a, you know a good, good amount of tricks that you can do with a, a memorized deck, then you're probably not gonna need this because so much of this, like I said, the first six tricks of the nine, you don't even need to have the deck memorized. And, and I think the whole point of memorizing a deck is so that you don't need a crib. So the fact that this comes with the crib 
right? It really feels like this is a, it's a crutch for beginners, which is fine, it's, which is fine. You absolutely, absolutely need it. And it's a great tool, okay? But I just wanna be clear that if you already do Memdeck work and you've memorized a stack and you know a bunch of tricks, then this project is probably not for you. But don't just take my word for it. Don't, don't take my word for it. I am not the end all end all and I'm not the only voice in Magic Reviews. Please go watch other people talk about this project and listen to what they have to say as well. Uh, Jeremy Tan, Jeremy Tan has a cool uh, channel and if you haven't seen it yet, make sure you go check it out. Give him a like and a follow. He did a review for this and it's a really good one. You should go watch it. That's everything I can say about Forecast. Of course, this is where I ask you for help because uh, I'm trying to reach 50,000 subscribers as my goal this year. And of course, if you appreciate what I do, if it adds value to the tricks that you purchase, do me a favor, hit like, hit subscribe, hit follow. That really helps me out a lot. And huge thanks to Craig Petty and everyone down at Murphy's Magic Supplies for allowing me to have this so that I could do the review for you. Thanks guys, I'll see you next time, bye. Hey, how would you like access to even more Magic Reviews? You can, you can get access to two extra bonus videos every single week. Did you know that? Hey, I make videos Monday through Friday for free and I do that for you guys. I never ask for a dime. You guys don't need to pay me any money. Magic and YouTube is not how I make a living. But if you would like access to two extra videos, you can join this channel for the low, low price of $1.99 a month. That's right, you'll get eight, eight extra videos every single month. Now, what are these videos? Well, these videos are tricks that I purchase with my own money because I'm interested in them. These are the tricks that I see, that I want, that I think are gonna be cool, and so I take time out and review those for you in the membership section. Eight videos, two a week, for only a buck 99. All right, so how do you join? Well, down below, right next to where it says Magic Orthodoxy, there should be a button that says join. If you don't see that button, there's also a hyperlink in the description of this video. Once you click that, it'll take you to another YouTube page where you'll be able to put in all your information and join with your dollar and 99 cents. Of course, you can join for uh, month to month or you can join for the entire year. It's up to you. And of course, you're free to cancel at any time. And again, you don't have to do this. This is not me asking for money. This is just another thing that I make available to you should you wish. Of course, you just coming here and supporting me on social media, uh, any one of my other social media channels by subscribing, by following, that is support enough. That is all the support I need from you guys. And believe me, when I see you guys reach out, when I see you guys comment, it means the world to me. Thank you so much for supporting my channel and thank you for believing in me. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.